Mixer? With the approval stamp? See, the poor bastard. You look like a white Obama to me. I don't know why. <laughs> Just starvation. Abraham, have a settle down, my friend. Eat your cake left. That's it. Um, all right, guys. Your headliner tonight is probably the absolute funniest comedy writer in Ottawa. He's absolutely hysterical. You guys are gonna fucking laugh your asses off. Big round of applause for the very funny, my good friend, Mr. Dave McConnell, everybody. My assistant, Skip Phillips. All right, no, you can clap. All right, uh, better admit I am a little depressed tonight. I had to have my cat put down today. But hey, a bat's a bat. <laughs> Still struggling with why my cat would make a bet like that. <laughs> I am a little bit nervous. I haven't had this much uh, bright light and attention focused on me since I went over the wall at Kingston Penitentiary a couple of years ago. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't a prisoner, I was a cook. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna miss my bus, took a shortcut. <laughs> I had no idea they were gonna freak out the way they did. <laughs> Sirens, the SWAT teams. Even after the guards recognized me, they wanted to put me into general population. <laughs> Not where you want to be when you've been a cook at Kingston Penitentiary. <laughs> Spend a couple of years putting funny tasting meat in the mouths of convicts. <laughs> They're gonna want to return the favor. <laughs> got an email today from a friend of mine. Uh, he's over in Moscow on one of those Russian bride hunting junkets. Been there about 12 hours now. You gotta know this guy, 41 years old, never had a woman speak to him in his entire life. But apparently now, in an eight minute conversation with an, through an interpreter, he's made a soul connection with an ambidextrous 23 year old Olympic gymnast slash supermodel slash contortionist who finally gets him. <laughs> I'm no genius, but if you spent 41 years in North America without a woman talking to you, and in 12 hours you've got a Russian playmate that wants to marry you, Ooh, Lord. wasted a lot of time on the wrong fucking <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> so girl I know just dumped her geologist's boyfriend, apparently kept insisting on telling her what kind of rock he was as hard as. <laughs> <laughs> Conversely, a girl I know is staying with a guy she can't possibly see anything in. And she told me the reason she's staying with him is because her dog really likes him. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking blind chicks. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm not a big drinker, but I uh, I did overindulge last night, so I woke up this morning, hung over as shit, ran to the can, and took one of those great white shark shits, you know, where you look in the toilet afterwards and there's an old boot, half a license plate, and a condom in there. Frantically searching through the bowl for the wrapper. <laughs> this is exciting. I got my War Amps key tags in the mail today. Surprised to see those arrive in one piece. <laughs> Amish phone sex. So, what are you weaving? <laughs> I 
drove in here tonight with Ed Goujon, and uh, just when we got into town, we saw two women on the corner with mullets and lumberjack jackets <laughs> fighting over a child-sized pair of porn star pajamas. We looked at each other a little bit confused, and then we went, oh fuck right, there's a Walmart here now. <laughs> Town today, and uh, while I was down there, I ran across a homeless guy with a sign that said "Need money for food." So I bought him some crack. <laughs> so I know that's what he really wanted the money for. And if he didn't, he does now. <laughs> also, I saw a woman in a burqa wearing sunglasses. <laughs> I guess she didn't want to be recognized. <laughs> so you think Taliban teenage boys practice taking off a burqa with one hand? It's <laughs> 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 so about driving a couple of weeks ago and a uh, song comes on the radio. Carrie Underwood's Jesus Take the Wheel. I was a little tired, so I thought, what the hell? <laughs> Five grand worth of damage. They <laughs> hope her next single is, hey Jesus, how about coughing up the fucking deductible? <laughs> I actually watched a woman in a Thanks to Jesus I'm Saved t-shirt drown once. Yeah, I could have pulled her out, but I knew who'd get all the credit, so... <laughs> Not a religious guy, I tried. I went to my local church, I talked to the priest there. And every question I had for him, he said, it's all part of God's plan, we're all part of God's plan. So I asked him why I was the 40 hour a week, deeply in debt, nearsighted part of the plan. <laughs> Instead of the Playboy Mansion, six pack abs, flexible enough to suck my own cock part of the plan. <laughs> and uh, he answered my question with a question. He said, you want to suck your own cock? <laughs> Not religious, have no religious affiliation. A lot of people do think I'm Jewish, I'm not. <laughs> Although when I go out to dinner, I do order the kosher meal, so I won't be expected to tip. <laughs> Been having a rough time. Uh, lost a lot of money last year. I opened up a brand new business. Thought I'd done everything right. Got a big sign, even put the French first. Got <laughs> uh, one customer for Piscin the Pool. store called Asses Full of Shit. <laughs> My French is fucking terrible though. I used to think French guys really like to eat pussy. <laughs> until I found out Belle Fermier was a meat pie. <laughs> <laughs> so I do like to reminisce. 
like to think back, you know, when I could still throw a good solid hip check and make a kid happy he was wearing a helmet. Like last Tuesday at the mall. <laughs> Did crash at a buddy's place the other day, and uh, while he was sleeping, I found a lump on his testicle. <laughs> well, that's going to be an awkward conversation. Pretty exciting. Today my penis measured in at 12 inches. Thank you, dollar store measuring tape. I do tend to get into a lot of disagreements, always end up on the wrong side of an issue. For instance, a lot of people think Stephen Hawking's a genius. Personally, I doubt the guy could tie his own shoe. <laughs> I don't know about you, but every time I go to the lost and found, they only have found stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so went to the future shop today. <laughs> Turns out I can't afford a big screen TV then either. <laughs> I did buy something off TV for the first time, that's pretty exciting. Maybe you've seen it, the listen in, have you seen that? Yep. <laughs> Where you can watch TV with the volume down and still hear it so your wife won't bitch at you to turn the volume down. <laughs> and just like in the commercial, I went out and tested it. I stood across the street from a couple of girls and I eavesdropped. <laughs> and they were talking about me, you know? They were like, look at the size of the hearing aid on that guy. <laughs> <laughs> needs a haircut. <laughs> you think he's Jewish? <laughs> oh, here's something you may not know. The Canadian magazine for the hard of hearing is actually called Listen. <laughs> what? Is what it should be called. <laughs> TV on commercial that drives me, or commercial on TV that drives me crazy, uh, for a herpes medication, where the woman says, I have herpes, he still doesn't. <laughs> How the hell did that get past the third date? <laughs> oh, herpes, thank Christ. I thought you were going to say you had kids. <laughs> Here's one for the fellas. You ever found a sore on your penis and completely freaked out? And breathed a huge sigh of relief when you realized it was just a tiny piece of barbecue chip? 